Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. My name's Cody and this is my series where I occasionally update you on what's going on in this game when something of interest changes. In this case, what's of interest is that it is now, as you can see, winter. Could you keep this a secret? I want you to deliver an amethyst to Emily. Oh, this is interesting. A bit of intrigue going on here, so we'll make that part of our task for today. Amethyst is this one, so we'll put that put that uh, in our inventory suit. As you can see, the difference between winter and other seasons is that uh, there's not really any crop growing. Uh, usually this whole area here, this whole area here, and this whole area here are dedicated to crops, uh, but thus far I've only been able to scavenge together enough stuff to start growing a few like wild roots and things, and I don't really have much in the way of... Uh, of actual plants because they don't grow in winter. So we've got bring in the million amethyst and find out what to do with this skull key that I have in my possession. So yeah, since we last met, I've been doing a whole lot of stuff. Um, you know, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of money from the uh, the end of the previous season. I've started growing. This is my little enclosure to start growing fruit trees. Uh, they're going to start, you know making apples and oranges and peaches and all that kind of stuff pretty soon. Um, I have a flower hat now uh, because I'm cool uh, and you can see the relationships are starting to uh, to build up very nicely now that I understand how the birthday system works. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be for foraging slash scavenging uh, for stuff like this. Uh, each season has its own unique stuff that you can, its own unique sort of wild fruits and things that you can sort of pick up off the ground. Uh, and winter has has a few of its own, which is what I've been trying to grow in my little garden that I have. Um, oh yeah, while we're here, we might as well see the wizard, because uh, there's a wizard in this game. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but there's a wizard. He's here. He's got occult symbols. He's got a cauldron. Uh, he's just having ha having the time of his life apparently. Let's see if I have anything that that I think he would like. Well, he'd probably like an amethyst, but he's not going to get one. Um, hmm. Well, how about let, let's give him some sashimi. Let's give him some fish. Cool. Seems like he liked it. Uh, that's good because sometimes they just hate it, and then it lowers your. Um, lowers your heart with them. Actually, someone that in the last episode um, I had a like a cutscene with I've actually got less hearts with them since then because I kept trying to give them things like fresh honey from my farm and all this kind of thing and they kept going, ew, why would you give me this? And it's like, why? Who would react like that to someone giving you fresh honey from, from a farm? Like that's a universally good gift. Um, so you can see this guy's fishing. Uh, this looks like the witch's cottage uh, from from an ancient uh, tale where where little children are lured uh, in there by a witch. What's it called? It's Hansel and Gretel, I think. That's right. So uh, there's a couple reasons we're going into town. First, uh, I always check the trash cans. It's a even though I have a whole lot of money now, it's just a habit that just won't. It won't stop. Uh, and uh, whenever a villager catches me doing it, uh, they react with disgust. They're like, what are you doing? Stop that. Uh, but it hasn't stopped me yet. So first we're going to head over up to the blacksmith's place because we've got something to, uh, to uh, collect. Yeah, so I've been, I've been getting some, uh, some upgrades to my, to my stuff. You can see I've got gold versions of the pickaxe and the axe. Uh, and I've got the cool obsidian edge that I got in the last uh, in the episode that yeah the last time I was recording um, and so I'm getting some some very nice stuff um, and this allows me to for example do this uh, I can go with up to five squares at once which seems you know not that useful because well how often are you going to use this? Only when you're about to plant something, honestly. But uh, it turns out there's actually stuff. There's stuff in the ground here. There's actually winter, 
winter plants and that kind of thing just uh, just in the ground. So we're just going to do a little bit of a tour today. We're going to do a tour around. Uh, if I find, oh, what's her name? Emily. Um, then I'll give her an amethyst. Uh, but first we're going to check the beach because the beach every few days has a few things for us to forage. Uh, and then we're going to go... Oh, hold on. These little worms are always a sign of uh, something Something is underneath there. Like a book. Sometimes they're just books. Sometimes people dig books underground like they're some kind of dog. I don't know what they're doing, but... <coughs> An ornamental fan, huh? That must be an artifact that I can donate to the museum. Um, and then over here, got some coral, got some more shells. My inventory's filling up, but luckily I have, I've bought the full set of backpack upgrades. So, um, you know, if I, if I'm careful, hold on. Gotcha. Did I just get both of those? Hold on, I, I feel like I just collected both of those when I shouldn't be able to. No, but is the coral missing? Hold on. I, I feel like I performed some trick, but I don't know what it was. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, let's see. Let's find this Emily. Uh, I, Emily has blue hair. Uh, I actually like Emily, but she's not one of the... Uh, of romanceable options as far as I'm aware um, I can just put it in the trash can by the way but, but I could also do this which I'll be honest I don't understand what's happening here but it appears that everything gets collected I don't know if I've happened upon a glitch or what um, but it's exciting times so we're gonna go find Emily in the town now where could she be that's a good question. Uh, she's she works at the uh, she works at the saloon, but the saloon generally doesn't uh, staff fully until like the evening. Uh, so she might still be in her house. Um, so we'll go over. It's one of these houses. Check the trash can. Here she is. Do you know how to cook bean hot pot? Uh, no, but. I'm always willing to learn. Uh, what am I looking for? The amethyst. So we'll get this amethyst. Oh, my favorite stone. You're so sweet. Huh? It's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Well, I don't care where you got it from. It's beautiful. Uh, I think... I think that got misunderstood. I think the, the gift was... Well, he should have he should have delivered it himself. Uh, and that's, you know, that's where he went wrong. Uh, so we've got we've got some hollies. Um, give give a holly. Look, Haley, I'm nice to you, and you always do this to me. You're always like, oh, I only like fancy fashion magazines. I don't like good organic produce from the farm, or lovely hollies around the Christmas time, like. Haley's not my Haley's not my favorite. Um, there's actually, let's see. So yeah, it says which one's a single. It's uh, you know, there's five male and five female romanceable characters. Doesn't really matter what your character uh, is. You can choose any of them. But um, but I am in particular at the moment looking to marry Penny who is working to be a teacher and she lives in a she lives in a trailer but uh with a like alcoholic mother and, and everything but she's uh you know working as like an elementary school teacher and everything and she seems like a nice person so much better than Haley because Haley is a snob Haley is a snob who keeps going oh I don't even like this gift which is you know like, how, why, do you, why would you even do that? Why would you even do that to someone who gives you a gift? Like, it's not as if I gave her a soggy newspaper. Alright, so... Let's go over to... Let's go over to here. Uh, start... 
getting rid of some of this uh, some, some of this stuff that I collected on the beach. I don't want to get rid of everything in my inventory here. Um, but I do want to get rid of some of it. I want to keep the fish because uh, what I can do with the fish is I can make quality fertilizer. Actually, I'll just make the fertilizer out of the fish and then we've got no more fish in our inventory and that's solved. Uh, and then we'll put the quality fertilizer in here. Uh, I need to rearrange. I've got like a sprinkler in here and a hat um, because I'm clearly not organizing this stuff very well. It gets it gets organized and then it gets disorganized. So what we'll do is, let's see, so this is the one for resources and minerals. Uh, I try and split them into, uh, you know, into those sort of general categories. And this one's for other minerals and resources and most, look, look, it's not very well organized. Uh, but as long as, these are sort of just two chests for the same kind of stuff. Um, so we'll just put, we'll just put all this kind of stuff in here, uh, all of this resource stuff. Um, and that clears up our inventory a fair bit. We're gonna want to keep want to look, we're gonna want to keep that uh, actually, and we're gonna we're gonna want to put the uh, forage seed stuff over here. Thanks. If you talk to the scarecrows, which I didn't intend to do, but I did, um, they'll tell you how successful they've been. Uh, like if we go over here, uh, this scarecrow says. I've scared off seven crows, so that's a good scarecrow. This is a rare crow, uh, which is a kind of scarecrow uh, which I got recently uh, by winning something. There's currently eight in the game and you have to collect all of them. Um, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go we're going to go somewhere uh, oh, I know what we're going to do. There was something that I've been meaning to do today. We actually need to replant some stuff. Uh, because it turns out that the supplies in this game are not infinite um, and that for example if we get some pine cones, maple seeds and acorns these are what we need uh, in order to start planting trees so that we'll have trees next year because I've been clearing out because uh, this whole place used to, all this empty space used to be trees and shrubs and rocks and I've cleared uh, all of them out, except for if we head over to the left here, there's still a bastion of uh, of tree area. Uh, it seems mostly pine trees that I haven't cleared out yet. Uh, but I did clear out the, the bottom left here so that I could make sure uh, we're all set for later. Um, so if we... Actually, I don't think, don't think I should put them next to each other. Uh, I'm not sure exactly... I'm not sure exactly how far apart they they'll be they should be, but it seems like they grow at like if we have a look at the examples of trees up here, they grow probably not like they grow diagonally across from each other. I don't know if any of them are directly like directly next to each other. Um, but to be on the safe side, how about how about we make it three? Uh, how about we make it um, on the third space like. So like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is this part's uh, a lot like Minecraft, I think, um, which is which is cool. Um, oh, and that is not three; that is two, in fact. Um, and so, and then we'll put it. Let's get the the pine trees at one, two, three. Yeah, we'll just space them all evenly out. I know. You know, they. Can, I can probably be closer, but I actually would appreciate this level of space because there's uh, there's some other stuff that I can craft. For example, this uh, where is it? The tap. You can place it on a tree, uh, and it will fill up. You know, the maple tree fills it up with maple syrup, or the pine tree fills it up with pine resin. Uh, and you know, that's sort of an important. You know, that's it's an important set of ingredients that you can't get any other way. So I'm going to use these as my uh, my trees that that are all neatly set out that I can go between them and I can collect all of the the stuff that's that's on them. Um, how much more space have we got? We can we can continue over here a little bit. All right. 
Oh, and no, I... Uh, that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. They all have to be on the same line for my arbitrary reasons. So, yeah, we've completed our, our quest stuff for today. We got the we got this back, um, which makes it a little bit easier to do this. But uh, more importantly, it makes it easier for me to find uh, some of those resources out in the wild. So before we before we finish off. Uh, let's head back into the forest. I actually had somewhere that I wanted to go that uh, I recently unlocked. So it's in the other direction. I'm not used to there being no trees or anything because I only cleared them out. I started clearing them out for winter, honestly, because it seemed like a good chance when I had no farming to do to, you know, just sit down and say, all right, what have I got? What have I got on my farm? Let's, like, sort this all out properly. Don't know what's happening here, but I killed it. Um, so if we head up here, there's actually something up here uh, that I had to clear away a kind of wood that I I needed the I needed like a steel axe upgrade to get to. Uh, so it's not available from the start of the game, uh, and it lets me get. Oh, hold up! I need to uh, clear out some slimes here, which is, this is the only place they appear outside of dungeons, as far as I can tell. Um, and it gives me access to this hardwood, which you can only get from the tree trunks or uh, tree stumps. Um, and it's a better kind of wood, and I'm going to need it for building a few. I need like a hundred of it to build a stable so I can ride around on a horse faster than I've been traveling in the past. And I kind of really want a horse. Um, so I think that's, you know, that's my, that's my plan is uh, I want to get a horsey. Uh, if I if I do another update, it might be like spring again, and I've got a horse, and I need to upgrade to some like cows or something um, because I don't have a barn yet, and I can get cows and sheep. I know that, uh, so that I can get wool and uh, milk, uh, and milk's of course really good for recipes. So, all right, it's 10:40 p.m. This has been a pretty full day, um, and I've. Uh, I think I've I've accomplished a fair amount. I got I got a few errands done around town. I replanted an area. Uh, I collected, you know, I foraged some uh, some stuff, uh, and I sold a bunch of stuff. Uh, so there's only one thing left to do, uh, which is when we head back up here. Um, it's nice to get in before midnight because it starts penalizing you if you stay up too late, like in terms of the amount of energy you have for the next day. Um, but Oh, I got some, uh, hold on. I got some, uh, some wine made out of, made out of corn, so I'll put, I'll put the next one in there. Uh, and then if we head, oh, get some, get some mayonnaise made from the eggs. Uh, and here's my chickens. Uh, here's Meru, Dart, Albert, uh, and Rose. I actually have, uh, oops. I actually only just figured out how to feed them. Uh, it turns out they weren't, they were, because it wasn't an issue before, because before the winter there was grass all around here and they were wandering outside and eating the grass. Uh, but now that it's, you know, now that it's winter all the grass died and then they kept complaining about being hungry and I was like, why? Uh, it turns out I need to actually feed them if there's, if there's no grass. So. That was a good day. Let's see what we got from that foraging. Oh, good amount. Um, so that's good. That's a good day. I'm going to see you next time.